Details. A Philadelphia judge threw out charges today against a man who served nearly 30 years behind bars for a crime he says he did not commit. Daniel Gwynn was convicted of the 1994 arson murder of a woman in West Philadelphia. Action News reporter Taronda Thomas live for us now outside the prison in Skipack Township where Gwynn is just being released as we speak. Taronda. Yes. He is here right now. I just talked to him. He's standing there with his lawyers, walking to his lawyer's car, saying he's going to go get some food. He's not going to have any prison food, he said. He also talked about how art has just been a key part of his life because this is a day he's been fighting for. As he drives away with his attorneys, they have been in court. They have been filing motions for years in this case. Three decades of waiting, finally becoming a self taught artist. He used those paintings in pursuit of an exoneration. He's in flames and he's reaching for hope. A picture Daniel Gwen envisioned for himself one day, and that day has come. He's a free man after nearly 30 years on death row. The 54 year old we see today is decades different from the person pictured in his 1994 mugshot and his artwork, depicting a confession that attorneys say should not have been included in the case. I think that he was probably terrified and he was intoxicated and he probably said whatever he thought they wanted to hear. A confession that didn't match the evidence. It's one reason the federal litigation unit of the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office moved to drop all charges. Gwen was accused of starting this fire in 1994 in the 4500 block of Chestnut Street in West Philadelphia. Squatters were living inside the abandoned building. One of them, a woman, died. But attorneys say there was another suspect who threatened the fire victims. Prosecutors also claim that witnesses identified Gwen in a photo lineup, but Gwen's photo was never in that lineup. There was wrong done here, and the DA's office is committed to correcting those wrongs when we identify them. I do give a lot of credit to the prosecutor's office here uh, in Philadelphia. As Gwen waited for justice, he painted. It's amazing to us that, that someone can be in custody and have that kind of light within them. Creating art that told his story with encouragement from the nonprofit Art for Justice. We can all learn from his art about resilience, about tenacity, about creativity. Gwen now looks forward to living the freedom he's been painting. And Gwen in the car with his lawyer getting away, getting ready to drive off to his new life. It's something he's been waiting for. Like we mentioned, for three decades, he is finally free, leaving the State Correction Institute here in Phoenixville. Uh, he basically says this is something he's really been looking forward to, of course. It, he's a man of few words when I just spoke to him, but simply he says he's very happy that he's being released. As you can imagine, it's so much for him to process right now. Now, in terms of the district attorney's office, they say they are not going to retry this case against Gwen. They have talked to the family of the woman who died. They say that family is okay with this case being dropped. As for the other suspect who they believe is likely to have committed this crime, they say he is already in jail, serving a life sentence for a different murder charge. We are live at SCI Phoenixville, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Toronto, thank you for that report.